what is up everyone i hope all of you are doing great and today i'll be solving a question which i found in mit's website and the link is given in the description below the question states that there is a uniform bar of mass capital m and length l attached to a wall by a frictionless hinge okay there are no torques exerted by the hinge Uh, the moment of inertias are given with respect to the center of mass and with respect to the end of the rod what is the angular acceleration of the bar at the instant that is that it is released okay fine so question number a so here it is the rod the rod looks something like this it is hinged like this and with respect to the hinge the force is only created by the gravity and uh, sorry the torque is created by gravity so torque equals to moment of inertia times angular acceleration so alpha equals to and the torque is mg times l by 2 divided by moment of inertia with respect to the axis end axis actually ml square by 3 so that will give you 3 g divided by l so this is the answer for the first question the second one it's the it is asked uh, that at the instant after the bar is released find the magnitude and direction of the force exerted on the bar by the hinge okay generally what we do is we take the hinge forces one along the rod and one perpendicular to the rod so let n1 be the perpendicular component n2 be the parallel component one is mg and the acceleration of the center of mass is r times alpha sorry l by 2 times alpha because this one is l by 2 so the acceleration is only along the vertical direction so net force in the vertical direction is equal to mass times acceleration so mg minus n1 equals to alpha is 3g divided by l it gives you n1 mg 1 minus 3 by 2 so that gives you negative of mg by 2 the negative sign indicates that the direction of n1 that we have taken uh, should be in the downward direction and n2 will be zero as there is no acceleration in the horizontal or along the x axis so hinge force is equal to mg divided by 2 and in the downward direction and our last question they have asked that we need to use work energy concepts to find the angular velocity of the bar when it has swung down to a vertical position and is just about to hit the wall okay fine so when the rod becomes vertical so there is a decrease in potential energy which results into the increase of rotational kinetic energy so the decrease in potential energy is mg times l by 2 which is equal to half i omega square so omega is equal to m gets cancelled out l gets cancelled out root over 3g divided by l so this will be the angular velocity that they have asked when the rod is just about to hit the vertical wall hope you all found this video helpful and informative thank you